Hey guys, it's Fat Cat. And I'm Sister Cat. And this is the new channel where we're starting, where we will be uploading daily Castle Clash content and competitive Pokemon battling. And I'll be uploading two Castle Clash videos a week, including an overview of my account tomorrow. Anyway, this is just a video to say welcome to the channel, and this is a little overview of my account at the moment. I am not super high level, but this is my account, so we're going to go over it. I have all level 10 walls. I am a Town Hall 14, but I'm working with the Town Hall 13 base, basically because I'm too lazy. You'll see a lot of me being lazy. And I have almost every legendary hero. I'm starting Reaper, Druid, Thunder God, Spirit Mage, and Cupid. And here's my hero altar. I have Cupid at level 100, capped at 5 stars. Thunder God, capped at 5 stars. Paladin, capped at 5 stars. A level 100 6 star spirit mage, a level 101 6 star reaper, a level 114 6 star druid, and it has 3 and 5 enlighten at 5 and 9 skill level. I have a reaper at 1 and 5 sprint, 5 of 9 skill level, paladin 3 of 5 sprint, 3 of 9 skill level, spirit mage on its way to 5 of 9 with a 1 of 5 tenacity. Very terrible talent, but you know. 5 of 5 reliable is Thunder God with a 4 of 9 skill level. Capped at 5 stars, like I've already said, but you know, I like to repeat myself. And a 3 of 5 heavy bull Cupid at 4 of 9 skill level, which is the next to go to 5 of 9. It's a really great hero for boss battles. Also, an Amortep with a 4 of 5 Berserk with a 4 of 9 skill level, capped at 5 stars. And a 3 star Paladin. No, not Paladin. Ah. I mean, my heroes mixed up. Champion. Three star Atlanticore. Three star Succubus. Three star Ninja. And their talents really don't matter because I never use them. And just some sacrifices I'm saving. I am currently have every shard farmable legendary in the game. So I'm just farm for gelatinous champions. So let's look at the quests we have. So earn some dungeon victories. Destroy town halls. Use a guild flag. My guild's not active, so we're just going to skip that. Donate magic attack troops. I tried to keep my account low might. I'm still in the mid game, not anywhere close to end game. Just in middle game, as I said. And I'm farming Here Be Monsters E. So, I'll show you that in this video too. This video is just basically. Like I said, overview, just to show you how my account's going, and there will be a lot more on this account. Including, I will probably be starting Let's Plays of new accounts, where we spend no money, because obviously I spend money on this account. Let's see, 54,000 gems I've bought, so that's around $330 around there. Okay, so let's go for some rating. I can show you some of my rating. Most of it's pretty easy, but, you know, it's basically low might, just tank with druid, 5 of 5 revite thunder god, and basically just drop, restoration if I need it, and that's all. And I'll just wipe right through the base, and that's great. So I guess we'll just let this raid go. And as you can see, at this might level, if you're starting out a new account, my advice to you is to keep your might low for a while. Um, I know the quest rewards are very good for raising your might, but it's, it, it gets really tough if raiding becomes hard, because I still think gold is necessary until the very, very end game. So there we go. Just finish it up. I guess I'll get three flames on the base. So, that's it. Gotta do a couple more of these. And this is just my normal routine, basically, of what I do when I log on every day. Log on about twice a day. Unless there's something specific I want to do, like farm for gold. But usually, just pretty lazy about it. Miss a lot of Here Be Monsters turns lately, but eh. It's the way it goes, I guess. 
Alright, so we gotta destroy two more town halls, if I'm thinking correctly. Two more. Uh, I should probably do dungeons first. Oh, well, I guess raiding. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, drop druid, tank with druid, and get in everybody else. I just basically sacrificed that troop, which sucks. Anyway, just some more information about this account while this raid goes on. Uh, Sister Cat, like she said, will be uploading two videos a week. I will be uploading all of the competitive Pokemon videos, and they will basically be exclusive on Pokemon Showdown. I will be doing a Pokemon Showdown live series, uh, some team building, maybe some movesets, even though most movesets have already been done by now, so... I'll have to see if I can come up with some good ones that haven't been told to you guys. And just remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And same for every video. And if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. It means a lot. Love subscribers. Anyway, just let this raid finish up again. And Thunder God should end it. No? Come on. That was the walk of shame. Waste of my time. Uh, they're raided by somebody. Nazmul. Whatever. I don't care about getting raided. I can get resources very easily. Okay, so let's just keep hiring these uh, troops. I don't even know the name. I don't care about troops. I don't care about troops. Once you get good heroes, troops don't matter. One more raid, and then we'll do dungeons, and I'll run here V Monsters E, and I think that'll wrap this video up. Um, anyway, as we look for a base, I guess yeah, I just won't do that one. I don't really need gold right now. Um, mm, here's an easy one. Let's just go. Anyway, more information that I forgot to say during the last raid is it will be consistently daily content. We will try our best, and I'm going to try to make a promise to any subscribers, viewers, that we will have is we will upload Castle Clash every day, and Pokemon Showdown, I will upload Four times a week at the moment, maybe more, maybe less, depending on how things go. And I think that's a good schedule. Just leave any suggestions that you have, and my spirit mage died. Ah, it's so, just so terrible. At, it, at its health. Why, spirit mage? Why can't you just be a little bit bulkier? Anyway, yes, I'm open to any suggestions, and so is Sister Cat for games that you would like us to play. Mostly games that we can play on iPad or iOS, as at the moment I cannot record a PS3 or I don't have a good PC. And why did I read? So basically, iOS games are... We'll take suggestions for iOS games, try them out. If we like them, we'll make a video. Or if we get overwhelming suggestions, we will definitely make a video. And, ooh, Crash. Yes, Castle Clash is infamous for crashing. I know. IGG, why do you have to screw with me like this? Whatever. Just, just, just to crash. It happens all the time. Anyway, we didn't get a turn for this dungeon, so let's just redo it. Sacrifice the troops. Still another name, because, yeah. Just the way I am. One shard drop. Hashtag swag. All shards count. Just kidding. One shard doesn't really matter. Just clear it up. This is second. We have one more to go. Oh, quickly while we're in dungeons, I'll show you. I am at 171 flames. All of my wins have been 3 flames. And I'm at dungeon 4. 9 out of 16. Just to show you, not a big deal. <sighs>
Man, it's been a long day. Anyway, back to the gameplay. Another one shard drop. I'm telling you, I have that hashtag swag when it comes to one shard drops. Claim the quest, get the books, and we will sacrifice all of these, whatever they are. Uh, pyromancers, I think. And I don't even know. Why bother? Troops. Don't matter. Like I've said a hundred times, just trying to subtly get it in your brains. Troops don't matter at all. Really. Until. Never. Except if, you know, you're farming Jay, which I'm not. So. As you can see, I can do F, but I cannot do it at a high enough percentage of completion where I feel like farming it. Whether or not that should be the case, you guys can tell me. I haven't gotten any advice on it. But at the moment, I'm just farming E. And as you can see, I'm running a sort of diamond base setup. And I have some, uh, I think, level 14. One of the gold storages is level 14. I have a level 14 mana storage on the outside. And the other two gold and mana storages are 13. Nice XP drop. And I'll check the tower levels afterwards because it's most important to upgrade your core buildings first. Because Here Be Monsters is the most important game mode in the game. Far more important than raiding as XP is the most important, and then you know, end the game, arena, top 100, all that jazz that I shouldn't be talking about, because I'm not even close to getting there at the moment. Anyway, as you see, this base basically does not fail when it comes to heroes and troops going for the towers or gold storages at all times. And because I can farm E so well, but I can't do F, this is basically a little bit easier for me. So it's usually a wipe up. The waves are pretty fast. And these two buildings out here are so if they would just spawn directly in the corner, they usually, if there was no buildings there, they would take aggro on that hero base. You never want them attacking a hero base. But this allows them to attack, and once they come from here, the closest thing is a tower, or here, tower again. And towers have the most health in the core of the base, so you always want them to attack the tower, most importantly. And I don't run any garrisons because I don't need them, and I don't like to split the EXP. Anyway, a, I mean E5, I remember those good old days back at A. Not really. A sucks. And that's a gold drop. Always a gold drop, you know. I'm so needy of gold. Anyway, the towers are level 7, all of them. I cannot upgrade them anymore, as I can only hold 1.1 million gold. And let's start a upgrade for hero base, as you can see. 1 level 12. The rest are level 11, so let's get the middle one up. Going to level 12. And I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. They're always appreciated. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. Subscriptions are always appreciated, too. My name is Fat Cat, and I'm out.